Are you tired of multiple email apps? Well, let's cut the noise. In 2025, the best open source email app that actually manages all of your accounts in one place is Thunderbird 128 Supernova. That's the latest release. It is sleek, fast, private, and built for Linux users who want control. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to install it and set it up for yourself very easily. So let's open our favorite browser, Firefox. Right here, let's type Thunderbird. Thunderbird free your inbox. Let's click on Thunderbird and then let's click on download. With this, you will be able to connect Gmail, Outlook or any IMAP POP3 supported email provider. You could choose not to donate by clicking on right above, but I do recommend you support them. Their application is amazing. Right above, we can click on the tar file to extract it. But first, let's go to the folder. Let's right click and extract. Let's double click on this folder and then this folder. But do know there's a lot easier way to install Thunderbird. First, all you gotta do is open the store. It might be called App Center or Software Store. Let's click on it. And then right here, we have all the apps for Linux that directly work and are supported. Let's type Thunderbird. Open source email. Let's go. By the way, the 2025 Supernova adds Phil Wayland support better encryption and improved Google OAuth 2 logins. That's a native handler and chat integration. And I think I have to explain it, but very simply click here on install. It's that simple. Do you know what also is simple? It's clicking the subscribe button so we can beat the 900% that isn't subscribed. Right here, the only thing you have to do is to click on open. And it might disappear because it's funny. Right here, we have the email app. and can switch between tabs. It's also starting the private notice. You need a primary address. That's mostly what it's asking here. So one address that will probably link to others. So right here, I'm going to add my Gmail and also my password. Let's click on continue. You can see that IMAP keeps all my folders and emails synced on the server. So let's do that. Let's click on done. Of course, it's going to open Gmail. Let's click on next. And then the password should be pretty easy. There you go. It is pretty much already connected and I'm already getting some notifications. Let's finish up, but you can also connect the address book, which of course your contacts and your calendar if you want that. Show reminders, offline support, which is pretty nice. Let's do offline support. Let's do holidays too. So let's go back. And right here we have the first email account. If you want to have more emails, like I mentioned, you can. Right above, you can find this menu. Then click on new account. Right here, what do you want to add? A RSS feed, a chat, calendar or email or news group. Right here, let's just click on email. You can add any email you want, like for example, the how to account. Let's click on done. The same steps and I think you have to explain. Just Gmail. I recommend for everyone to have an authenticator app. I myself use NTAuth. It is open source and it works in the browser on my computer. Comment down below if I should make a video about it, how to set it up. Let's allow everything. And then right here, everything is connected. I can also connect the calendar and let's click on finish. Right here, well, we got the system integration. I'm gonna disable this one, skip integration. Right here, we have two emails right here and you can view them very easily just like this. An option I really like to use is right here, folder pane options and let's enable folder mode unified folders right here if you click on inbox it will actually show all of the mails combined but of course you can customize this however you want big question why is thunderbird better than other open source competitors apps like gary and evolution are very good but thunderbird's leads in stability and has a very massive add-on support Wait, they have add-ons? Yes, they do. So how to enable add-ons is right above the screen again. And then right here we have add-ons and themes. So let's click on it. And it's just like actually Firefox. It's pretty much the same. Right here we have extensions and we can go to the Thunderbird website. Actually, Thunderbird is like a browser. You can see it like that. Right here you can see featured extensions, auto archive reload, automatically archive old emails, improved version of the original auto archive icon add-on but we can also change the theme for example if you want to have a dark mode version there you go you can easily do that but that's not everything on the website with add-ons we also have themes and we can look at what's most popular right now for example lights of the north by madonna let's add it to thunderbird let's click on that and now we have the theme you can easily go back and now we have a very nice ui very much customized 
I can watch every single email here. And even better, we have a calendar. Right here, you have the calendar, a it on month, whatever you want. I don't really have anything in these calendars, but it works. And you can see that I don't know how to right here because I haven't edited it yet. Let's click on, so let's go right above if we want to still see how to and go to account settings. Right here, we have how to itself. And we go right above and then right here, we can actually add something new. And that is a calendar from the computer itself. So right here we have on the computer and right here we have the email addresses. Let's select how to and right here we can easily call it how to and that creates calendar. Let's go back to the calendar and we can see how to right here. Right click and properties to fix the name just like this. Well, Thunderbird is amazing and it is completely open source. Even better, Thunderbird's open code means no data mining and encryption tools like OpenPGP are built in. You can also enable end-to-end -end encryption in the account settings very easily. Make sure you subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And please help us get rid of the 99% that isn't subscribed yet. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.